And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. How do you like that, Bob? That's shooting him, Billy. Try it again. Why, by the great stone toad, did you got that tin can clock? And the second time was in the air, too. Am I getting better, Pop? Am I honest? Sure, kid. For the button your age, just going on 14, there ain't no kid any place can shoot better than you. Gee, but I ain't going to stop practicing. Not to let me shoot as good as you can, Pop. But you're the best shot in Milo's game. You're probably the best shot in the whole world. No, kid. I know at least one gent who's better than me. Lightning Jim. You mean the badge tutor? Yes, Billy. He's a United States Marshal and a fine man. They don't make him any finer than he is, Billy. Yeah, but, Pop, I can't rather think of this thing. You and Milo and Butch and Wicker... You're out of Gimelor. So how come you think so much of this law dog like Lightning Jim? Listen, kid. My being with Marlo is a long story. Someday I'll tell you all about it. But do you remember what I've always told you ever since I started teaching you to shoot? Sure, Pop. Go ahead. Say it for me. Well, we ain't gonna be with Marlo forever. You're going to make enough money to get out of the country. To South America, that's where. The both of us in South America. Go on, kid. And then I'm going to get sent to school like, like all the other kids. Going to learn things. Like your ma wanted you to. Going to learn from books. And amount to something. And what's the most important thing of all, Billy? As long as I live, I ain't ever going to shoot again the law. That's it, Billy. And maybe it won't be so long now. Oh, come in here. Hurry up about it. Come on, Marlow. Go ahead with your practicing. Dad. All right, Dad. Oh, Figures here just got back from Teresa. Says the last chance mine is sending out another shipment of gold bullion. Yeah, with a stage this afternoon. That means we ride again. <laughs> yeah, I reckon they're never going to learn no better. We already took three shipments away from them and left a couple of their drivers dead. Yeah, but it ain't what you might call hard work. Leastwise, I don't mind taking off an afternoon for it. Hey, Snow, let's take Billy along with us this time, huh? Huh? He's getting so he can handle a gun right smart for a pint-sized number. Oh, no, I told you Billy ain't riding with us ever. You get that? <laughs> you think you can make a gentleman out of him, huh? <laughs> Son of an owl hooter like you. What I make out of him is my business. But you keep your hands off that boy. I may be low down, but I ain't so low down that I'd send my kid the way I've gone. And if you or anybody else... Get I... your hackles down, Snow. Take care of your brat your own way. Ain't no meat off my table. Come on. You ain't too proud to ride with us. Many and varied were the assignments given to the marshals of the Old West, but danger accompanied all of them. Whenever outlaws preyed upon decent citizens, then came the United States Marshals to do whatever was necessary to stamp out banditry and make of the West a safe place for the building of homes and schools and churches for the growth of a new nation. The stagecoach carrying bullion from the Longchamps mine has been robbed three times, and two of its drivers have been killed. 
So United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy Whitey Lawson have been sent to take over the job of protecting the state and are even now riding as passengers in the big old Concord along the trail between Dorisa and Temple, the nearest railroad stop. Feeling bad, Whitey? No, Lightning. You know I was just singing. Oh, is that what you were doing? Not a shirt, boy. What you think? You see, even your mud didn't know. <laughs> I bet he thought we was being attacked by Indians. The mud, you call him. Well, I'll have you know this ain't no mud. My, my, this is the, the best dog in the whole country. <laughs> Well, I'm willing to bet he's pretty seasick right now. The way this old coach is bouncing along, he'd be lucky if he gets through with all his own bones. She likes him uh, where you think those uh, bandits are going to rush us. Well, any place along here now, Whitey? Sure, oh, and they won't be expecting no trouble. They won't uh, be surprised. Yeah, I hope so. We usually shoot once the head of the horse. That's just for a warning. Then, well, Marlow Bird shoots the kill. Just for the fun of it. I guess hydrophobic chunk. I sure hope fun of my bullets get you. The drivers are going to get down, all right. Then, as soon as Marlowe's killers are close enough, we start shooting and the drivers drop down on the ground. That way, they must chance that they're getting hit. There they are. Get set, Whitey. Sure. Get an answer. Get down on that seat. Stay low, Whitey. Here they come. Now. Oh. Oh. Look like me. Ah, come on, man. There they go. See, they're getting a V. Yeah, things wasn't as easy as they hoped for. I'm quitting. I'm quitting right here now. I am. I ain't going to get in the middle of no gun fight. Well, driver, this is one of the tough things you're likely to meet up with. You should have known that when you signed up to drive the state. Well, maybe so, but I didn't sign up to commit suicide. I'm through. Well, you're safe enough for the rest of the trip. They won't try it again this time. If I only had Sunday here, they wouldn't get away. <laughs> Meanwhile, Marlow, Snow, Wickers, and Butcher are riding swiftly ahead, knowing that they can outdistance the heavily loaded stagecoach. <laughs> Waiting for us. Trying to get us in a trap. Snow, you could have got that big buzzard if you tried. I won't no use in shooting just to be killing, Marlow. We never could have got that goal this time. You could have got that big baboon. Somebody had gone soft on us. And that big baboon, as you call him, was Lightning Jim Whipple, the marshal. What? Yeah, I recognize him plain. Hold on there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Mallow. This ain't no safe place to stop. We got just a few more yards till we turn off. Oh, you're trying to tell me that you had a chance to shoot that dang marshal and didn't do it? Mallow, that wouldn't have done no good. Killing a marshal ain't going to do us any good at all. Well, I'll get him. You can bet on that. But first... I don't want nobody working for me that don't play my way. Grab uh, those horse, will you? We can use horses. We can't use soft-hearted hombres like Snow. There wasn't no need for you doing that, Marlo. Snow was the right guy. I play this game my own way. You got anything to say about it, Butcher? No, no. You're the boss. I got the horse all right, Marlo. And let's ride. I reckon when he comes along, Lightning Jim can bury Snow for us. That name Marlow fits him, too. Marlow, bad. He's all bad. There's a reward of $5,000 on him. Dead. Well, I'd be glad to get him for nothing. And then be a month's salary beside him. Yeah. Well, what you, what you stopping for, driver? There's a Jasper lying out here in the room. What? Maybe it's one of Marlow's Jasper. Maybe we hit one worse than we thought. See, maybe that's Marlow himself by Johnny. No, no, they seen Marlow Lightning. But he was with the hold-up man, so right. I recognize this fellow. Yeah, he's been plugged at close range. Look at them powder burns. Uh, Billy. Billy. He ain't dead, Lightning. Who are you? I can't see. My eyes won't work. Who are you? I'm Jim Whipple, United States Marshal. Lightning Jim? Yeah. Listen, Marlow got me. Shot me because I didn't shoot you back at the holdup. Mallow shot you. Shot one of his own men. Yes. Yeah. My kid Billy, he he's up there with Marlow. You you got to get him for me. He's a good kid. You mean you got the little boy riding with you? He ain't never rode with us. I keep him in jail. No, say you be still, Harry. He get your bandage up. No. No, 
I'm through. But listen. Take my gun. Find my boy, Billy, and... and when you find him... Yes, mister. What do you want us to do? Give him my guns and... and tell him... Tell him... Yo, what do you want us to tell him? Tell him to... to do like I always said. Never shoot again the law. Tell him I... I want him to amount to something... like his... his ma wanted. That's fine, stranger. Where's the hideout? Where can we find you, kid? He's... I think he's dead. Yeah. But it didn't tell us where we could find Billy. Well, then I reckon we got to find Marlowe. Of course, that's where the kid did. Yeah, but what will Marlowe do with him now, Waddy? Before we get to him, I tell you, Marlowe ain't got a heart. There ain't nothing too bad for him to do. Pop. Hey, where's my pop, Marlo? He's dead. Dead? My... Well, Pop, dead. Oh, you just wanted Marlo. No, I'm telling you the truth. He's dead. But how did it happen? Where is he? Did you let us and leave him? There weren't nothing we could do, Billy. It was Lightning Jim shot your pa. Lightning Jim? Yeah. First he shot your pa out of his saddle, and then he shot him again in the back while he was lying there on the ground. But Lightning Jim wouldn't shoot him in the back. He wouldn't. My pal was Ain't that the way it happened, Butcher? Because... Well, sure, sure it is, kid. Why'd we want to lie to you? What do you say, Butcher? It, it's like the boss says, Billy. Just like he says. Now, I guess you'll believe me when I tell you there ain't a Lord, Lord dog living that'll give you a decent break. He shot my pop when, when pop didn't have a chance. I reckon you're big enough to help us get Lightning Jim, ain't you? My pa always told me not to fight again the law. He told me... You're going to let your pa get killed? Get shot in the back by a danged law vulture and not do nothing about it? Why, you little wolf, you ought to be beating your I'll chest, I'll do it. Then. I'll do it. My pa was wrong. Come on. I'll shoot lightning Jim myself. I can shoot. Shoot good. Sure, kid. You can shoot all right. Most as good as your pa. But you can't shoot as good as lightning Jim. I got a plan. Plan to get that, Marshal. Get him good. Now listen carefully. Sir. What is Marlowe's plan? Will Billy be drawn into Marlowe's vicious scheme before Lightning Jim and Whitey can find him and deliver his father's dying message? Well, listen for part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim, which follows immediately. And now for part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim, the outlaw's son. The stage driver was true to his word. He quit as soon as he returned to Dorisa. And no one else has as yet agreed to take on the dangerous job. However, Lightning Jim and Whitey have offered their services, both to drive and protect the stage on its next shipment of gold, and are now in Dorisa using the names of Jim Jennings and Whitey Swenson, waiting for orders. Now they're just pulling up in front of the livery stable. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh. Ooh, thunder. 
Well, one more scouting expedition and not a trace of Marlow. None of his men. Oh, Lightning, I, I always thought that, that when I got off a tree and my thinking, that then was the time to get drastical. But, but see, how, how can I get drastical when there ain't nothing to get drastical with? <laughs> Seems like you just have to hold off for a while on that drastical business, Whitey. Hey, Larry, how about taking care of the horses for us? Sure thing, Mr. Jennings. It's a downright pleasure to take care of that horse of yours. <laughs> <laughs> sort of feel the same way, Larry. Say, I uh, hear this how you two took on the job of uh, driving the stage for the Lost Chance Mine, eh? That's right. <laughs> Ain't you feared a mile of birch and his murdering vipers? I'm sort of anxious to meet up with that dry gulch, sir. Oh, not me, no, sir. I stick close to home. <laughs> hey, but say, uh, you heard anything about a U.S. marshal named Lightning Jim being sent down to guard the stage for you two? Lightning Jim? No, can't say as I have. Who's he? Ah, oh, suffering snakes. <laughs> You've been keeping your head in the rain barrel all your life. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Lightning Jim is the greatest marshal in these here United States. Well, uh, this youngin' here's been hanging around all afternoon trying to find Lightning Jim, but he ain't seen him as yet. Yeah, uh, well, what do you want to find the marshal for, young fella? Oh, you see, uh, I want to... Uh, I mean, I'd like to... Well, I mean, I was thinking... Oh, yeah, you, you go right down and spit it out, Boston. Well, I want to be a marshal, too. That's why I come down here looking for Lightning Jim. I heard he was in town, and... Well, I... You didn't go and run away from home now, did you, son? No... Oh, I didn't run away from home. Uh, I ain't got no home. You ain't got no home? Well, she ain't no fine-looking boy like you had, had ought to have a good home. Yeah. Tell us about yourself, son. What's your name? Oh, it's... It's Billy. Billy? Now, say, Billy, now, wait... Billy, say, maybe we've been looking for you, too. Oh, you've been looking for me? Well, what for? Why, uh, tell us about yourself, Billy. Where you come from? Who was your pa? My pa? He died a couple of years ago. And my ma, she just died last week. A and I ain't got no more family. And I've been walking for two days now. Most a hundred miles, I guess, to get here. Because I want to be a marshal like Lightning Jim. And I want to find him quick. You've been walking for two days. Boy, I bet you're hungry and tired, too. Say, you come along with us right now. Yes, Billy, you come along. We get some food and listen, a little sleep. And tomorrow... Well, maybe so we can find Lightning Jim for you. Uh, walk on ahead, son. All right. See, Lightning, why don't we tell them who we really are? No, Whitey, not one word. This boy's lying. I can tell that by the way he spoke. Just like he learned it by heart. I don't know why he's lying, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> The funniest thing I ever saw. Look, like he's biting my nose. Look at that. Oh, that's good. <laughs> a little old kid don't hardly hurt at all. <laughs> no, no, no. You mind your manners, puppy. Uh, uh, that ain't polite. They won't run by the people's on the toes. <laughs> yeah, uh, that don't make for uh, no sociable feeling. Uh, now he's gonna eat you up. Uh, well, look at the little thing. She's thinking you're right. Oh, yeah. Hold me for a minute. Now you won't have to wash your face. Let me get Anyway, hello, Say, you ain't gonna have no nose left at all, will you? If that pup keeps on working on it. Hey, golly, this half off now. Gee, I wish I could have a pup like that. She sure is some pup, all right. Ain't you never had a dog, Billy? No. No, I, I never had one. Well, no, dear, ain't so awful hard to get there. Maybe if I was to put my mind to it, I could find the dog for yeah, you. Yeah, well, right now we're going to find ourselves some breakfast. I'll just leave, Billy. Swell. Well, that's the softest bed I ever slept in. And the pillow's got real feathers in it, too. Uh, I'm real glad to hear that, son. And you know what we're going to do after breakfast? No. What are we going to do? We're going to buy you a pair of boots. Uh, boots? For me? Yes, sir. You're going to be a marshal. You've got to have boots. Oh, that's right. Uh, the government, uh, they don't want no barefooted marshals. <laughs> you got to have yourself some boots. Oh, gee. <laughs> well, 
How the field, son? It does, the field's swell. And look at him shine. Yes, sir. Oh, I can most see my face in him. <laughs> oh, you sure do fit. You're all right. Swell. I can wiggle my toes on the inside. But they don't rub up and down at all. And six pairs of stocks. Just like yours, Whitey. Red with yellow stripes. <laughs> Someday Whitey's going to take his boots off in public and folks is going to think war's been declared. <laughs> <laughs> Say, no, there ain't nothing wrong with my socks. They, uh, they, they suit my personality, that's what. <laughs> hey, Jim. Yeah? You and Whitey, come in here a minute. Sure, Bernard. Be right with you. Reckon we got the order your burner hands? Yeah, that's about it. You wait here, Billy. We won't be long. Maybe I better go back to the hotel and take care of the dog for you, Whitey. Yo, that's a good idea. Uh, take her out for a walk if you want to. Gee. Hey, Jim. Jim. Duck back in here. Oh, it's you with us. Hurry up, hurry up. All right. It ain't exactly safe for me to show my nose around here. It's all set for today, kid. We didn't figure on it being this soon, but they're sending out another load of bullion this afternoon. This afternoon? Yeah. Well, then Mr. Jennings and Wiley will be going along. They drive the stagecoach. I wouldn't want nothing to happen to them. They're swell. Jennings? You mean that big galoot you was just talking to? Yeah. The little one's Whitey. And he's got a pup, and, and they bought me new boots and... Jennings, eh? Why, they've been stringing you for a fool, kid. That big guy is Lightning Jim himself. And the little guy is his sweet deputy, Whitey Larson. No. No, that can't be. But, but they're both swell. Jennings bought boots for me, and, and Whitey bought the socks, and... You act plumb loco, kid. That big guy is Lightning Jim, and the other one's his deputy. Heh. they been fooling you. Then they lied to me. They said they was just stagecoach drivers, and... Yeah, you can't never trust no law badges. Don't you know that? They lied to me. And the big one shot my pop. And I ate with him. And I slept with him. And I let him buy me boots. I'll throw these boots in the mud, in the stock. I won't have them, I minute, tell you. I won't listen, have them. Listen, and stop that yelping. Here. Here's a gun. Take it and stick it inside your shirt. Now, you know what to do? Yeah. As soon as the stagecoach is loaded, you sneak inside and don't let nobody see you. You won't be looking for no stowaways, and you can get inside easy. Then, when the trouble starts... Then I come out and shoot them. Yeah. But they don't seem like the kind of guys that I would shoot my pop in the back. Maybe you're too much of a sissy for this job. I ain't neither. I'll do it all right. I bet your life I'll do it. I wonder where Billy went to. He wished I couldn't find him no place when we was getting ready to leave. I want to tell the little fellow goodbye. <laughs> Most like he's parading around in his new boots, Whitey. You know, he, he's a plum nice kid. Even if he did tell us a whopper last night. Say, how, how did you know that he was fibbing to Oh, uh, I can read faces pretty good. And he was just telling a story he made up. There wasn't a word of truth in it. Well, the poor little fella, he, he ain't never had nothing in all his life. You know, Lightning, I, I was thinking, I make enough money to take care of a little button like him. I don't hardly spend none of my money, you know that. <laughs> uh, I know how you feel, old-timer. Between us, we can make up his living expenses, all right. And the other Billy, too. If we ever find a poor little shaved tail. Oh, Billy. One for you and one for me. See, that might be a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, boy. Mm. See, what you stopping out here for? I uh, want you to get on the inside, Waddy. Me and... Uh, no, sir, I ain't going to do that, Lightning. That way you are taking all the chances. I ain't going to do it. Now, listen, Waddy, we got a job to do protecting this ship and the gold. We got to use our heads. As long as you're inside, you got a better chance to defend both of them. Well, that can be you, yes, that's well. Now, listen, go on, Whitey. These are orders. You get on the inside. Well, all right. But I can handle these horses just as well as you can, Lightning. Billy! See, what are you doing on the stage, Coach Harry? What? Billy, why, what's he doing? He got loaded up. You didn't see me at all. But, Billy, you shouldn't have done this. Is it this. true that you're Lightning Jim, the Marshal? Did nope. you lie to me last night? Why, why, yes, I am, Lightning Jim. Then take that, dirty bag, buddy. Stop you, you. Rested in, No, look what you went on. You shot Lightning. 
Give me that gun. I hope I killed him. I hope I killed him dead. Well, you didn't, son. You only got me in the shoulder. Listen, no, before I shake your teeth loose, you tell me what you shot lightning for. Who, who put you up to this? He shot my pop. He shot him off his horse, and, and then he shot him in the back when he was laying on the ground. Mallow told me so. Mallow, you mean that your pop... Billy, did your paw ride with Mallow, and did he get killed three days ago? Yes, and you shot him. You shot him in the back. No, no, he didn't, Billy. No, you got to believe us. We fought the foreman off. They got the V, and then later we found your paw. Someone shot him close up. Billy, your paw told us that Marlow had shot him. Shot what? him because he wouldn't kill me just what? to be killing. And he gave me his gun to give to your son. That is, if he could find you. His... his gun? Yeah. My pop's gun? He, oh, and he told us to tell you never to fight again the law. That's... that's what he always told me. All is, I knew you was both all right. You was swell to me, but... But Mallow said... He told me. He made me promise it. Oh, no, no. Never mind, son. It's just a misunderstanding, that's all. Now, don't cry. Whitey, help me get this shoulder tied up. Hey, all right, then. See, maybe we better go back. Go back? No, I can use the other hand, all right. And you got two hands, ain't you? Yeah, and I can shoot. Shoot good as a grown man. Oh, please... Please let me fight with you. For, for my pop's sake. No, Billy. You're too young to stain your hands with blood, even if it did kill you, Paul. You get down on the bottom of the coach and stay there. Now, you understand? All right. I'll drive from here on light. Then uh, you get inside the coach with Billy. Don't worry. My shoulder will be all right. Oh, now, listen. You get inside there be, be, be before I bust you, one. For once, by yumping him, and I'm the boss here. <laughs> all right, Whitey, all right. If we're held up, Whitey, put up your hands and wait for a cue from me. You're taken by surprise. Yo, I get you lightning. Get up, boy. Get up there. Now, Billy, I want you to obey me. If we are stopped, I want you to keep low. Yo, well, there they are, by golly. Keep down, Billy. Grab your horse, Eddie. All right. All right. Pull there. Pull, boy. Pull. Don't try no funny business, Swede. Yes, one move for your six guns and we'll drill you. Come on out with your hands up, Marshal. We know you're inside. Yeah, come on out. Get what's coming to you. Well, here I am, Marlo. You got the drop on. Billy, stay back. I won't. Let me go. Let me go. Good work, kid. You didn't get a chance to drill him on the road, huh? Well, now's your chance, kid. Yeah. Now's my chance. My chance to give the stunt what murdered my pop what's coming to him. Uh, give it on, kid. You bet I will. Billy, go. That's how you shot my pop, Mally, you dirty, sneaking, murdering, say one. Hey, no. Yo. Uh, well, uh, they're all three done for lightning. I killed him. I killed him, lightning. I killed Mallow. Yes, Billy, I, yes. Uh, I, Listen, I son, if you him. hadn't killed Marlow, we would. And there's reward money enough on Marlow to give you a good education. You're going to take that money and get a chance in life. Yeah. Yeah, just like Pop wanted. And I'm going to amount to something. When, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like, like you and Whitey. <laughs> And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Lawson, courageous U.S. Marshals of the Old West. Mm -hmm.